Hi, so just been to Asda. This is just another boring uh, prep shop. Um, right, so I bought four packets of, uh, of veg to go in there, some sweet corn to go in there, some onions to go in there. I bought a pack of five uh, decent sized sterile dressings, two boxes of paracetamol, two different boxes of plasters, a large bag of pasta, a large bag of rice, is that four kilos, a couple of packets of mash, I'm not really keen on Asda's mash but I've never tried their cheese and onion mash before, eight tins of large tins of potatoes, I've been watching a program, um, a, a YouTube, a 90, well, I think she was 91, she's got this YouTube channel that's huge. And it's all about the dishes that she used to cook and she recreates these these dishes um, that they used to eat and tells you a few little stories and stuff about her life during the depression the American depression so it's fascinating she's a bit dithery but she's lovely um, so you might be able to get some ideas there if you know if you if you're on your arse and you've not really got you're trying to work out what to put with what um, Basil some beetroot, those four burgers. Um, that was one of the things that was cooking in the, the pot over the fire in the sand dunes. That and mushy peas in one pot. You should try it, it's lovely. Thanks to Ruth Smith. Um, I'm going to, I'll put her, I'm going to put a link to one of her videos. She's one of my subscribers and one of her subscribers. And uh, yeah, she's, she's a lot more organised than I am. And she's she's used these very large hot dog jars to their full potential. Um, I'll link the video in the description. Very, very good. She's a good channel. Nice lady. Mushy peas times four. Two meals in a can. Macaroni, cheese, beef, ravioli. Um, sweet chilli. Love this stuff. 99.999% sugar. Some ketchup. Talking of sugar... You save an absolute fortune by buying one of these massive bags. Can't see where it says how much is in there. It doesn't matter. But thankfully, it tells you how much you're getting per kilo, how much you're paying per kilo from the, the, the packets, the, the stuff you normally buy, to these. And this is it's, the saving from buying one of these is immense. So something to bear in mind. Those... Um, Baguettes that you just kind of stick in the, it was two for £1.50, I think, as in two packets, so four. Now, soap. I've got quite a lot of soap now. I mean, when I was a kid, we never used, you know, all the plastic and, and stuff. It, there's not much you can do with it, and very little of it gets recycled in your shower gels. You know, I think one of the main reasons why people stopped using soap and started using shower gel was because every now and then there'd be a mysterious pube stuck in the soap. <laughs> You've got to get over the squeamishness. Soap is way, way, way more practical. Um, and there's virtually no waste. You know, your, your imperial leather, we used to use it all the way down to the sticker. Baps. Oh, I love my baps. Just to go with some hot dogs later on. I've got some more um, flameless, uh, it's flameless, that'd be useful, wouldn't it? Smokeless fuel, um, 10 kilos. And I've got some kindling as well because they're, they're proper lump, lump wood. It's very expensive, I think. So, yeah, that's today's prep shop and this little lot came to 55 pound and 99 pence so that's it that's it for now and ciao for now